common room in Sharp 4. We were actually crying over our first college test. It was chemistry. That class, all on its own, spilled the end of my medical ambitions and just the beginning of Hannah's. Luckily, our adventures only went up from there. From f and Thursdays to Boot Happy Hour Fridays, from Halloween on Frenchman to Mardi Gras spent throwing beads from the balcony on bourbon, and that Mardi Gras that we spent in the rain on a float for hours and hours. We will never get that time back. From birthdays spent in the library to celebrating our 21st birthdays together in Vegas, we spent our early 20s adventuring through the most amazing city with the most amazing best friends girls could ask for. And Hannah even chose at the end of all that to go on a trip with my entire extended family with no cell service. I think Hannah plays more board games that weekend than she's ever imagined or hoped to play. But we're still friends. When Hannah returned from Australia, we picked up where we left off in a slightly different manner. Now it was nights spent playing kickball, though beer pong and blue cups still made many appearances, and weekends attending every festival in the city. We traded in 50 cent night for bachelor bingo, and penny pitchers for Thursday night supper club. And suddenly, we both were spending a lot of time talking about God's name, David. David, I remember meeting you for the first time at a party and thinking, damn, this guy is way too cool for me. And I've been proven right over and over again. You've watched more movies than I ever hoped to even know the name of. But I'll always remember watching Coda on the couch, surrounded by your dogs and my dogs, and probably a stray dog. I've never seen Hannah so happy, and never seen someone so fully embrace the crazy friends and dogs that always appear around Hannah and the dogs. Between Hannah and I, we've had anywhere from two to six dogs at any given day. Turns out there is not a limit of how many dogs can fit into any one household. So cheers. To learning about the art of cocktail making at Bugsy's, and to demonstrating why I will never own a Blackberry, to Princess Blackberry, and cheers to being you and all of your dogs' personal hurricane hotel. Cheers to David and Hannah. And to the best AV guy I've ever had.